An argument at a gospel radio station nearly came to blows between two longtime Dallas County politicians. Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price and his challenger, former Dallas City Councilman Dwayne Carraway, were there for a debate when things got heated. This was during a commercial break at the radio station. Third candidate Micah Phillips recorded and shared his video here with Fox 4. A Caraway staffer says he was hurt during the scuffle. Fox 4's Deanna Zoka outside the radio station right now with more on what happened. Deanna. Well, Steve, you already know this was uh, already a tough race before this even happened today. John Wiley Price, the incumbent, is under a criminal indictment. He faces three challengers in the upcoming primary. So during this radio debate on air today, during a commercial break, tensions escalated to the point where others had to jump in to keep these candidates apart. This video captures part of a confrontation between County Commissioner John Wiley Price and Dwayne Carraway as a political debate devolved into a personal one. You can hear Carraway shouting an allegation of a personal nature about Price and Carraway's wife. I have no comments about that. None at all. Leave that alone. Afterward, Carraway would not explain what he meant, just that there's more to this video. You see me screaming, but now what you should do is call for the full release of the entire video, and then you will see why we were screaming. They're not showing him up in the air with the commissioner's hands around his throat. I was the only one that hands were put on. George Nash, a campaign worker for Caraway, says Price grabbed his neck when Nash tried to intervene. And that's from where John reached around and grabbed my neck. I knocked his hand down and then grabbed my arm and where he saw the scars from and tried to throw me out of the way. The bad blood between Price and Caraway is nothing new. Price has been a Dallas County Commissioner for 30 years and faces an upcoming trial on federal public corruption charges. Carraway served a short stint as Dallas Mayor Pro Tem during his eight years on the council. The men were in the same room for what was supposed to be a live two-hour debate on KHVN Heaven 97 between four county commissioner candidates, including Micah Phillips, who recorded this video and insisted Carraway was the aggressor. And we basically had to keep them from each other because I can only imagine if something would have connected because I actually saw Dwayne Carraway lunging trying to get at Commissioner Price. I can't say Mr. Carraway started, I can't say that Mr. Price started it. Uh, it was just words that were being spoken and thank God there were people there to hold both of them back. KHVN News Director Robert Ashley says he can't be sure of exactly what set off the trouble, but fears the real loser in all this will be the very people these men want to represent. Uh, because we wanted to do things decent and in order. We, we're, we're on radio live. We're talking about, we're in the middle of early voting. We're trying to educate our voters. I was disappointed. I was sad. Um, I was embarrassed to a great extent because uh, I wanted to see these men act like men. Mr. Ashley says the men were taken apart. They, they cooled off for a period. They were eventually brought back into the studio just to give a final closing statement. But he did say that that debate ended about an hour early. So police did come and, and, and take some statements from people. Uh, John Wiley Price was, was gone by the time we arrived. We did try to reach out to him, uh, didn't hear anything back. His office tells us that they weren't even aware that any of this happened until uh, reporters started calling late this afternoon. Back to you. Okay, Deanna, so police, we know we're there. Uh, let's talk about charges and if that's even a possibility. The, the video doesn't seem to really support anything chargeable, but uh, as you said, the police took statements, so what might they be? Who could face charges? Right, police did take statements, and uh, Nash, the one who says Price grabbed him, uh, says that police officers also took photographs of the, the marks on his body, on his neck, and on his arms. Uh, you know, he's not sure whether uh, police would pursue filing charges. He said he would just leave it up to police and the lawyers to, to sort out the next steps. Uh, police tell us that they are simply just investigating this right now. They're looking at this. Uh, they're calling it a disturbance and sorting through exactly what happened here. Back to you. Okay, all right, Deanna Zoga, thanks.